Yo. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to another Lockout Men podcast. I am your host, Lockout Men. And uh, today's topic, we're going to... We're gonna we, we're gonna talk about to see if uh if if trucking is worth it in in 2020 right now because you guys know 2020 is shut down right 2020 is pretty much done we're we're looking forward to 2021 now all right let's get into it. Let's get into it. What's going on, guys? I am Lockout Men. And if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this and more. You guys want to know, is, is getting the trucking at this point in time is worth it? Now, to be honest with you, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I am not the one to even speak on this particular topic. But uh, th there's a lot of videos out there that's saying, yo, get into trucking right now. Trucking is where it's at right now. We need you. We need you. And all like that. But then there's a lot of other videos out there that's saying, yo, don't do it because ain't nothing going on out here. Now, I'm not... I'm not an owner operator and I, I can understand that there are some issues that owner operators are taking right now. The, the spot mark, the spot market is fucked up. There's no, there's no freight that they can make money off of. Uh, they can't find two, $3 lows right now. And they, they can only find one or two dollar, you know, one or one dollar and fifty cent and less lows right now. And they they are saying they're the ones that saying, yo, fuck all that. We're going to sit our ass down and wait. Is that a good idea, though? You know, I mean, well, if it's a good idea for you, if you have the money saved up for a situation like this a lot of owner operators don't you know you know a lot of company drivers don't but with with all of the with with all of the governmental shutdowns right now and everybody that can and cannot work unless you're an essential worker is really messing up the economy right now you know, a lot, of, you know, if 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 you're not moving products that that essential workers need, then, of course, you're. Go Sorry about that. I had to take that call. Uh, but, yeah, as I was saying, you know, as far as 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 far as essential work goes, there's not that much going on right now. You know, a lot of places is shut down a lot of a lot of places that that we would be getting work from is it's pretty much shut down you know so you can only get you can only get what is available out there and as i said before maybe i'm not the one to talk about this topic but you guys are sending me a lot of information and you know i'm just there ain't nothing to do because i am Quiet as a kept, I am one of those drivers that are sitting. You know what I'm saying? There's company, you know, there's these big companies out here, the major carriers are swapping up all of the freight that they can get so they can keep their company drivers moving. But there is company drivers such as myself that is not moving. You know, you got drivers that hasn't moved in a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? So we're... We're sitting here just earning our our layover pay or whatever or whatever pay that that the company offer you, you know, when you're not up under a load. But as far as owner operators go, I got this little sound clip that you guys could listen to. Listen to this driver as he explains 
a, at least a little bit better than I do. And I, I'm hoping to reach out to this guy as well. He's a, he's a YouTuber, and he says that tough times in trucking, it is. It's tough right now. It's, it is real tough right now. And is it going to get better? I guess it will get better. And I guess that's why all these trucking companies is making a mad dash to hire as many drivers as they can as they can because when is when all this is over with then there's going to be there's going to be a lot of freight that's going to need to be moved <laughs> the freight that's not moving is going to need to be moved you got people that's going to go back to get that's going to go back to factory work and they're going to push out all of the all of the work that they got in there and they're going to need truck drivers to move them so at this point in time, is it a good time to get into to get into trucking right now? Maybe, you know what I'm saying? But you you really got to understand that when you come into it, just know you're not going to you're not going to, you know, jump and get all that freight. You may not. You probably might just move a week. And then you probably might be sitting a couple of days. I'm just saying, you know, until all this is over with. They said that this is supposed to be over with by uh, July. A couple of people, a couple of people that I have talked to so far said that they're not, they're not even going back. Like for the people that's working at home, they're not going back into their offices until September. Then you got. October, November, December. You got three months left of the year. Is 2020 done? Do you guys think 2020 done? I I think so. Like I said, even with this new normal that's going on right now, 2020 is pretty much done. So is 2020 a good time to get into trucking? Maybe. You know what I'm saying? But just like I said before, just know that you might not, if you're a company driver, then, you know, you might get in it. You might get in it, into it. If you're an essential worker that's moving essential products, then maybe. But I even hear that drivers that drive reefers is having a hard time right now. Let's check out. Let's check out what this man has to say. Let's go. Let's go to the clip. All right, guys. I know this ain't my normal video making, but however, just to kind of give you all an update, my damn computer. So, uh, it ain't working. Uh, tried to take it to Best Buy, but you can only order computers on Best Buy on their website. Anyway, anyway. I know all of y'all are going through some really tough times right now with the rates. I know they're sucking, but I mean, the only way through these times is to keep moving, guys. Keep moving. Because what the biggest mistake guys make during these times is staying at home. They'll park the equipment, and then what ends up happening is they run out of the funds. Okay? They run out of the funds, so when the freight comes back, because this freight's not going to come back real fast. Okay, do understand that. It's not going to come back in a V. Okay, it's not going to come back like that. I promise you. All right, when this thing opens back up, it's going to be a trickle effect. So it's going to be a slow roll there in the beginning. So you may not see some good rates for the next three to four months. If you don't have the funding to su survive for the next three to four months, rolling is the best interest, man. Look at your daily cost and at least break even you know at least break even because if you're not breaking even it's going to be ugly for you all right um getting two and three and four dollars a mile right now is going to be really really tough and i don't even waste my time with it i just keep trucking man because uh what's going on in the industry right now is all the big boys have sucked up all the freight all right they've sucked it all up there's no contract freight going on at this moment it is all strictly spot market, and we're only moving essential goods pretty much. I mean, there may be some other things going on, but very little, very little. And that's why the market's down. To, I mean, I'm looked all over the board, man. I mean, the map's all white. It's all white. 
I mean, there's not very many places that's even one-to-one. So, I mean, freight is very scarce right now. So do keep your trucks moving and look at a daily rate, okay? You need to make at least a daily amount for your company and do base that on a five to, you know, four-day average. Yep, yep, yep. That's some good advice from Trucking Inside. You guys could check him out on YouTube. Trucking Inside. Go and uh, check out. I'll leave a link to his uh, channel and his video uh, so that you guys can watch the rest of the video in the description below. All right. So, as I said before, is this the time to get into trucking? With everything so messed up right now. Is this the time? Now, a lot of you guys is asking me to, you know, to continue on with the make the call videos. Unfortunately, I decided to discontinue that. Uh, what I will do is if you guys have any suggestions that you guys want me to research on a company, then I will do that for you. I will research the company and I will come back in the video and make a video about that company that you have asked me to research. But as far as calling them now, uh, it's not because I don't want to. It's it's because all the all the companies are hiring and they're they're and and they're pretty much talking the same right about now. You know what I'm saying? The average truck driver is fifty to sixty to seventy thousand uh, a year. Um, majority of the fleet, uh, majority of the fleets are going automatic. Um, some are starting. You know, they're starting. Uh, CPM varies from company to company, so it's just a matter of you guys. That you guys got to do your homework, and I really do appreciate. All of you guys looking towards me to help you out with your decision making process. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. But uh, as I said before, thank you for supporting the make the call videos. Um, thank you for all your comments and all your suggestions for the make the call videos. But as of as of uh, was this April or as of March, March, April, Unfortunately, I am discontinuing the uh, Make the Call series. Now, I probably might discontinue the call part of the series, but if you do honestly have a company you want me to do a research on and, and, and talk about it, then I will do that. But basically, <laughs> what I'm going to do is the same thing that you should be doing is typing the company in, and looking them up and go on Indeed. Indeed is a good place to go to. Glassdoor is a good place to go to to uh, to to do your research on some of these companies out here. Now you got now you got a lot of drivers, past drivers, current drivers that gives reviews of these different trucking companies out here now a lot of the time you have to take it with a gain uh with a grain of salt though for real because a lot of the a lot of the reviews come from disgruntled drivers all right a lot of a lot of drivers that's not working for that particular company no more for whatever reason would give his biased or unbiased i'm not sure which one is it let me see bias let me see, unbiased. Okay, so his unbiased opinion about that particular trucking company that he was at, you know, and the reason why he's not there no more, you got to watch out. You got you to gotta read between the lines, all right? Uh, again, Glassdoor, Google, Indie, you know. Now, a lot of these major companies are not hiring. Some of them are not are not doing orientation right now because of the pandemic. Some of them are doing them, uh, doing a virtual class. So definitely make sure you check that out. But 2020, as far as 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 far as the whole year goes right now, we're already, we're already in the middle of April. Let me see, January, February, March, April. 
We are already four months in, and this is already the middle of April. Let's see. January, February, March, April, May, June. Everything's supposed to be opening back up at, at the end of April. But is everything going to get back to normal? I, I don't think it is. It's a new normal, y'all. A new normal. So with that in mind, with that in mind, um, I'm glad that you guys is chilling. I'm glad that you guys like the new format. Of course, if you want to come on and chop it up with me, definitely get at me in the Gmail below. That's lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. Hit me up over in Instagram where you can chop it up with me over there and uh, hit me in the DM. And if you want to come on and chop it up, let me know. We can set a date. We can book a time and we can come on and, uh, and, uh, and chop it up on the podcast. Uh, with all that said, I appreciate you for watching. I appreciate you for listening. If you want to listen, if you can't watch, go over to the, uh, go over to your favorite podcast platforms and type in lockout men. And every episode of the podcast is on your favorite podcast, or you can definitely just catch me over here on, uh, on YouTube and we'll chop it up over here. Until next time I talk to you guys, I uh, hope you have a blessed one. Definitely say a prayer for everybody out here. Um, and if you guys, you know, say a prayer for your boy, I appreciate that. Um, and if anybody want to support the channel, you can. Just hit the subscribe, like, share, and comment. So do all that good stuff for me, and I will continue bringing the bringing the 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 information and the and the stuff that you guys like about this podcast. So with that said, we are gone.